Jesus wants to speak, so I'm going to speak with Jesus. Come, divine will, come speak in my speaking. Lord Jesus, I fuse this teaching into your will. I fuse myself into your will. I give you my will in exchange for your divine will. And I make an act of abandonment to your will, Lord Jesus, so I can forget myself, and I am completely yours. Amen. Welcome back, everybody, uh, from the last one. Who is that coming up from the wilderness, leaning upon her beloved? That beautiful wilderness in which you're stuck, and you're thinking to yourself, where is Jesus? One of Louisa's greatest suffering in her beautiful wilderness was the privation of Jesus. November the 6th, 1909. The privation of Jesus purifies and consumes us all. I was lamenting to Jesus because of his privations and making himself seen for just a little. He told me, my daughter, the cross unites us all ever more closely to me. These privations that you suffer make you fly above yourself. Because not finding the one whom you love in you, life becomes boring to you. All the things that surround you annoy you, and you have nothing on which to lean. The one on, on whom alone you used to lean seems to be missing in you. And therefore the soul keeps flying and flying until she is purged of everything to the point of being consumed. And in these cons consummations, your Jesus will give you the final kiss and you will find yourself in heaven. Aren't you happy? <laughs> Don't you just love it when Jesus says, aren't you happy? While all the time he is causing you to suffer privations and heavy crosses. And you should be. Like, Louis, like he teaches her, the privation of Jesus purifies the soul. And no matter how pure the soul is on earth, there can always be a deeper purification. So he wants her to be pure, 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 pure. And it's the same for you. Oh, people of God. Do not be afraid when Jesus hides his presence. Rejoice, because it's in that, if you're still focused on him, if you've got your set, if your eye is set on him, and your heart is fixed on him, then when the privations come, the consolations vanish. Your heart is being purified, and you're flying. You ever want to fly? It will happen when Jesus deprives your soul of his comforting presence. Such times are priceless. They're priceless. You can't, you can't, the price of these things is beyond measure. You're sealed in heaven. The great saints all suffered this. So why should we not we, the army of Our Lady, the children of the divine will? And then Jesus says, aren't you happy? Probably not, because I want to experience consolation. But probably yes, because I know that the crosses and the dryness and the suffering is purifying my soul of my ego and my vanity and my pride. And it's making me a channel fit for purpose. So people of God, that's why Jesus caused Louisa to suffer privations, so that she could fly. That's the reason why he will want you to suffer privations, so that you can fly. Fiat voluntas tua.